What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon back and today I got a special top 10 video for you. Uh, something a little bit different than what we usually do. Today we'll be reviewing the top 10 most expensive graded Pokemon booster packs. Now my curiosity was piqued in regards to this category because we've seen some pretty insane sales of graded Pokemon card booster packs. So out of curiosity I wanted to look into the most expensive of these graded Pokemon booster packs. Folks, you know the spiel. Please be a subscriber if you're not already. Please give the video a like on your way out and please use my eBay affiliate link below to support the channel if you do any shopping on eBay. All right, just a couple of ground rules for this top 10 video. We will only be including single pack sales. A lot of the times you see listings for like an entire pack art set of all four pack art. So this will only be for single booster packs. And the other stipulation is we're only going to include one variant per set. And what I mean by that is if we come across, let's say an unlimited base set Charizard pack, uh, we're not going to include an unlimited base set Blastoise pack as well, even if it is in that same price range. And the third stipulation for this video, we will only be including sales that have happened in the past six months. Before we get into this top 10 list, I think it's also worth mentioning some uh, statistics about pack grading. So it seems like PSA pretty much has the monopoly when it comes to grading Pokemon booster packs. Uh, the pack grading prices have never really been super affordable. They've always been quite pricey. As you can see right now, the lowest option to grade a booster pack is $50 for an economy. Uh, and that turnaround time can be God knows when. I mean, the next one up, the prime option is 100 days plus. So I can only imagine uh, the turnaround time for an economy grading. And it's also worth mentioning that there are much, much less in the population report for graded booster packs than there are for graded individual cards. So without further ado, let's jump into this top 10 video, starting out with the number 10 most expensive graded Pokemon booster pack sale, which was this first edition Umbreon artwork Neo Discovery booster pack, graded a PSA 10. This one sold in auction recently for an even $700. You'll notice a lot of these booster packs are going to feature the most popular uh, artwork from each set. So you're going to see Umbreon, you're going to see a lot of Charizards. These are the ones that are going to fetch the premium over the other booster pack artworks. But anyway, this Umbreon first edition booster pack is the number 10 most expensive sale in the past six months. Coming in at number nine, we have this very interesting Australian red logo jungle booster pack. Uh, the red logo booster packs for jungle set are much more difficult to get your hands on. So a graded copy of this booster pack will cost you around $787. So according to the title of this listing, this is a pop one graded booster pack and the number nine most expensive sale that I could find. Coming in number eight, we have another Neo pack. This is an unlimited Neo Destiny booster pack with the Tyranitar artwork, got the PSA 10 and sold for an even $800. Now I have no doubt that if we saw a recent sale of a first edition Neo Destiny booster pack, it would probably go for more than this, but this is the only one I could find. So this is the number eight on our list today. Coming in at number seven, we have an Expedition booster pack uh, featuring Blastoise graded a PSA 10 and sold in auction for $840. Now, if you notice this style of holder that holds this booster pack is the old version that PSA used to put them in. They have since upgraded to the newer ones where it can make room for the uh, crimps, if you will, so they don't they don't crudely fold them down and try to fit them into this. It looks a lot better how they do it nowadays. I think y'all are gonna agree with me there. But this here Blastoise Expedition Booster Pack is the number seven most expensive sale. Coming in number six, we have our very first base set booster pack in this unlimited base set Charizard booster pack that sold as a Gem Mint 10 for $851. So folks, you have to almost assume that a majority of these vintage booster packs are light. They are very unlikely to contain a holographic card. I don't know who in their right mind would seal up a booster pack that had a holographic card in it. So $851 is a very nice payday for a booster pack that is likely to not even contain a holographic card. This is the number six most expensive booster pack sale. Coming in at the number five most expensive booster pack is from the EX Deoxys series in this Deoxys defense form artwork booster pack that sold as a PSA 10 for $1,226. Deoxys set is of course well known for having the coveted Gold Star Rayquaza card. 
it's unlikely to have it in this particular pack, but yes, this is the number five most expensive booster pack sale of the graded variety. Coming in number four, we have this Sky Ridge booster pack featuring the Ho-Oh artwork. This pack was graded a PSA 10 and sold an auction for $1,703. Of the three E-Series sets, Expedition, Aquapolis, and Sky Ridge, Sky Ridge seems to be the most popular amongst the three, which makes it the number four most expensive graded booster pack. Getting down to the final three, we have another base set booster pack. This one is the Black Triangle Error Pack that graded a PSA 10 and sold for $1,725. It's when Wizards of the Coast accidentally put the first edition stamp on these unlimited packs and basically just tried to cover them up with a black triangle, even though they still have unlimited cards in them. But this booster pack variant is much more rare than others, so it fetched the price tag of over $1,700. The number two most expensive sale that I could find in the past six months was this shadowless Charizard artwork base set booster pack that is a PSA 10 sold in auction for $1,890. Now what's interesting about this variation is it's not always guaranteed to have shadowless cards in it, but the fact that it has 11 tradable cards at the bottom instead of 11 additional cards uh, is a different variant, thus it commands more of a premium. This is the number two most expensive pack sale that I could find. Before we get into the number one most expensive graded booster pack, let's go over a few honorable and not so honorable mentions. We have a graded PSA 10 Shining Fates booster pack featuring the Charizard VMAX on there that sold an auction for $103. Here is a PSA 10 Fusion Strike booster pack that sold for $117. We also saw this graded XY Roaring Skies booster pack sold for $137. Here's a graded Hidden Fates booster pack that sold for roughly 150 US dollars. A graded Sun and Moon Guardians Rising booster pack sold recently in auction for $157. Here we have a very modern Evolving Skies booster pack that sold for $155 in auction. Here's a graded Brilliant Stars booster pack that sold for $158. A PSA 10 Evolutions booster pack featuring Venusaur sold for $160. A Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds graded pack sold for $177. And then we have a bunch of vintage booster packs that didn't quite make the top 10 list, but they are still very notable. Here is a Chinese base set booster pack that sold for $432. We also saw an EX Ruby and Sapphire booster pack sell for $455. Here is a graded base two booster pack that sold for $485. A first edition Neo Genesis pack sold as a PSA 10 for $487, while a graded base set Japanese booster pack sold for $610. Which leads me to the number one most expensive graded booster pack. You guessed it, it is the first edition base set booster pack featuring the Charizard artwork that sold as a PSA 10 most recently for $5,880. Like I said earlier in the video, this is very, very, very unlikely to contain any holographic card, uh, but it still goes for nearly $6,000 in a PSA slab. Now I wanted to include these auctions, but they sold for well over a year ago for some pretty extravagant prices. And it is of course the demo booster packs. Uh, one had sold for $22,800, another one for $26,400. But like I said, folks, this was like one to two years ago. I'm not sure what they would sell for nowadays. Uh, so I didn't include them in the top 10 list. Thank you so much for watching. Are you a collector of graded booster packs? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of all these prices. I am looking forward to hearing from you. That's all I got, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you in my next one.